Hi, let's take a look at the wife of Bath's tail, assignment K in this class, and see exactly how the assignment is set up. Notice that um, each question here has read and summarize the wife of Bath's tail, but notice the highlighted summary of wife of Bath's tail. If you click on that, you get a summary of the wife of Bath's tail uh, in modern English. So let's let's take a quick look at that. And it says, following her prologue, long prologue, the wife of Bath tells a tale of a young knight who, after the rape of a maiden, must roam the countryside in search of the answer to the question, what is it uh, that women most desire? The knight has exactly one year to find the answer to this question and return to King Arthur's court, or else he will be sentenced to death. Okay. Um, the, uh, the nice journey does not go well. No matter where he goes or who he asks, he comes up short. Despondent, he starts back to Arthur's court when he happens upon a group of young maidens. As he approaches, they disappear, leaving an old woman. She says that she has the answer to his question, but will only state it before the queen and on the condition that he do whatever she asks of him. The knight agrees. In the presence of the queen, the old woman states that what women desire most is sovereignty over their husbands. Nobody disagrees with her answer, and the old woman asks that she be wedded to the knight. Again, the knight agrees, albeit reluctantly. Oh, he's terribly reluctant. On their wedding night, the knight is despondent over what he's gotten himself into. The old woman proceeds to lecture him on the trivial nature of appearances, then gives the knight a choice. Ugly by day, yet loyal and faithful the rest of the time, or beautiful by day, and take your chances otherwise. The knight, uh, truly perplexed by his entire situation, tells her to decide. Oh, he's learned his lesson, see? Um, the old woman rewards him by giving him both. She is become suddenly, she's a shape changer. Uh, she becomes young and beautiful and loyal and faithful. Okay, now, um, what's the next question here? Um, what is the knight's crime and what was the original punishment set for it? Now, if we click on this, it takes us to that part of the um, of the uh, of the tale. Okay, uh, let's take a look where we are. We're on line. It's taken us to line 886. Uh, let's back up a little bit before that and get the uh, and get the context. Okay, um, and so befell it that this King Arthur had in his house a lusty bachelor that on a day came riding fro the river, okay, and happened and happed, things happed then, uh, alone as he was born, he saw a maid walking him before, of which maid anon, Despite Moger, despite her heed, by very force he raft her maidenhead, for which oppression was such switch clamor and such pursuit unto the King Arthur that damned, damned was this knight for to be deed by course of law and should have lost his head, his heed. Um, Part chance, part adventure, such was the statute, though, but that the queen and other ladies more so long pressed the king of grace till he, the knight's life, him granted in the place, and gave him, yath him to the queen, all at her will to choose whether she should him save or spill, spill his blood. The queen thanked the king with all her might. And after this, she spake, thus spake she to the knight, uh, when, uh, when that she saw her time upon a day. She said, Thou standest yet, quoth she, in such array, here's your case, that of thy life yet hast thou no surety. I grant thee life, if thou canst tell in me what thing it is that women most desire. Be war. Be war and keep thy neck bone from the iron. Keep your head from being cut off. If thou canst not tell in it to none, yet will I give ye, give thee leave for uh, to go on a twelve month and a day to search and learn an answer sufficient in this matter. 
and surety will I have ere before that thou walk, before thou pace thy body for to yield in, in this place. You have to pledge to come back to this place after a year and a day. Um, didn't Gowan go for a year and a day on his quest? So we have a traditional quest, but this time, rather than to find the Green Knight, um, the young knight who has besoiled any notions of knighthood um, has to go and find it out what it is that women most desire. Okay, uh, let's go back up to our questions. Okay, we've already uh, gone past the next question, I think. Um, okay, the question... What is the quest of the knight given to the knight and why? Okay, go find out what women most desire. Uh, who promises to give him the answer? Well, let's see. Let's click and it'll take us to that part of the uh, tale. The wife of Bath's tale. Um, there we go. Around line 998. Okay. Let's back up a little bit. Um, he goes and he asks all kinds of people, uh, women, and uh, some of them say women want this, some want that, but nobody seems to be sure. The day was come that homeward must he turn, and in his way it happed him to ride in all his care under a forest side, where as he saw upon a dance going of ladies four and twenty, and yet mo. Toward the wild dance he drew full yearn, in hope that some wisdom should he learn. But certainly before ere he came fully there, vanished was this dance. He didn't know where, he missed where. No creature saw he that bare life, save on the green he saw, sitting a wife. A fowler person, a fowler white, there may no man devise. Again the knight and his old wife began rise, and said, Sir knight, hereforth nay lieth no way. Tell me what ye seek by your faith. Perchance, paradventure, it may the better be. These old folk can much thing no can know many things quod she my leave mother my dear mother quod this night quoted this night certain i am but dead but if i can say what thing it is that women most desire could ye me wis could you let me know i would you well quit your hire i would pay you well if you could tell me Plight me thy troth here in my hand. Pledge to wed me, quote she. Pledge to wed me, plight me thy troth here in my hand, quote she. The next thing that I require thee, thou shall it do, if it lie in thy mind. Oh, not pledge to wed me, but to give me your promise. Okay, give me your promise. It's more like it. Uh, if it lie in thy might, and I will tell it to you before it be night. Have here my truth, my, my pledge, quoth the knight, I grant. Then, quoth she, I dare me well avant. Thy life is safe. I can guarantee your life is safe. For I will stand thereby upon my life. The queen will say as I. She'll agree with what I tell you. Let's see which is the proudest of them all that weareth on a cover chief or a call. Um, that all the women will agree with, with what I say.